You know, in some ways, human beings are kind of primitive. We are trained, or maybe even genetically programmed, to hang out with people like us. You know the old phrase, birds of a feather flock together. And that's really very deeply established in who we are. And that's why we tend to not only hang out with people, but hire people like us and build communities that are insular. Now we can understand that, but that's not what we need in a modern world. When we are surrounded by an unbelievable wealth of human beings with different insights and different skills. And a wonderful alternative set of experiences that can enrich us. Now, unfortunately, we have made, though we have made progress, there's still many too many communities, including, unfortunately, the Democratic Party, that have remained too insular, too much about business as usual, too much about those of us who worked together 40 years ago who are still working together today. And we need to train ourselves to move uh, away from that to be truly welcoming. It's not enough to say, well, if somebody came along, we'd welcome them. You have to go out and recruit. You have to go out and explain. And more than anything, you have to go out and listen to what people are saying. Now, what that means is, for example, in hiring or in recruiting for the state committee, you need to go into networks that you might not be familiar with. And that means perhaps going to uh, historically black colleges and universities. It might mean going to community groups. It might mean going to folks who uh, are at the center of communities of color. It might mean uh, hiring someone with a disability. I can say as someone with a disability myself, many dis disabled people are unemployed or underemployed and we don't think of them uh, automatically. We also, as chair, I think we should have honest conversations about unconscious bias. We need to have diversity training even anti-oppression training. Now, to those of you who say, what is that? That sounds really scary. It's not. It just says, where did you learn about other people? And how have you reacted? How did your parents react? What have you learned about others who are different? And then we need to measure. We need to set targets and measure and disclose how we're doing. Again, that's not scary. That's just normal. That's how you run an organization. One reason I feel so strongly about this is uh, hit me again the other day when I was talking to a young woman of color and I was astonished by her ability, her intellect, her insight, the speed and, and depth of her thinking, uh, her energy, her natural leadership. And even as I was rejoicing at meeting her and thinking about all that she was going to do in her life for many of us, I had this sudden overwhelming feeling of sorrow because there were thousands, millions of people like her who've come along in history who had those same gifts and yet they were not allowed to exercise them. They were prevented from offering their ideas. They were silenced. They were prevented from holding positions of leadership. And what bothered me so much is that I recognize that this was an enormous waste of human ability and human strength and intellect and energy. And that that waste was created by people like me who were so obsessed to flock together with old white male birds that they couldn't hear, they refused to listen, they were threatened by more diverse voices. So I wanna put an end to that as much as possible by inviting the full range of human voices into the Democratic Party, not as a passive thing. Well, if you show up, we'll be happy to accept you, but as a goal to go out and find people who look different, sound different, think different, but underneath that difference, share our core values. That's what we need to solve the problems of the 21st century. And as chair of the Democratic Party, I will make sure that that happens working with you.